Hey all. So last episode, I was experimenting, if you can't tell, with the uh, um, frame per rate, frame rate per second, and uh, uh, I noticed that it became a little bit sluggish at times in my video. So I'm going to try um, improving the FPS this time with uh, Fraps, basically, and see if that'll increase the quality. So I'm basically fiddling around with the FPS just to see uh, what I can do with the um, uh, you know file size. Because the more frame pace you, uh, frame, FPS you record per second, is the more file size that you're getting. And I want to try and keep them too small. But you know, I don't want to be you know so big that they're hard to uh, record. Anyhow, let's continue. So right now we're at 75% hull, and um, I've got two heavy or two iron cans. One's an iron blast two and a heavy iron. I've got hull laser, I've got anti-ship, and I've got beam weapons. So I'm looking pretty good. Um, I'm holding off on sort of, you know, spam like scrap because I'm looking for uh, a store somewhere. But other than that, we're doing pretty good. Let's keep going. You arrive to find a slug ship in the middle of a bor boring and disabled rock freighter. Let's engage the slug ship. You charge weapons and the slugs immediately back down. When he turns you to the the Rockman have already repaired the worst of damage and dumped away without another word. So, I guess they were kind enough to say, thank you for letting us get away and we're out of the way. Alright, so they're out of the way. Um, I probably should probably be going to Nebula here, but, you know, it's just the less I have to interact with the slugs, the better, really. But whatever, let's just go in here. That's why I came here. I want to interact with slugs. You detect the Mantis Expedition vessel returning home with its hull. So determined are they, in fact, they don't uh, wait to see if you're hostile before firing. Well, I guess we got to worry about Mantis again. He's got uh, teleporters, he's got missiles, blazers, and looks like an exploding bomb. Quite a bit to handle, but nothing I can't really handle. Do this, do this. Let's blast off his shields and fire. All right, looks like he's boarded me somewhere. And I'm actually gonna put the owl fire on because I forgot again. Now the game's a little bit sluggish, I'm noticing. I think that's because uh, I'm doing too much stuff in the background. So I guess I'll try and keep this episode short. For that reason. Okay, his shields are finally down, and it looks like I'm finally penetrating him a, a little bit. I still got those boars on board, but I'll leave them alone until I deal with um, this ship. I can always have my rock band, you know, slowly beat them up. They're almost done, but they're doing quite a bit of damage to me. Oh, they're in here. That's not good. I want to get you guys over to here, and you can come down too. They're almost dead, so let's move this guy over here. I'll pilot you down. I'll put you up. They're already dead. The ship explodes even behind the central collection. You use the scrap material. Looks like there's only one border here, but it's still enough to cause worry. I took some major damage pretty much here. Get you up. Let's go this way. I'm not seeing any sort of damage this way. Okay, that's fine. You can go up here. I don't know about you, but this is looking really laggy, and it is probably because I'm doing too much. Um, I'm I'm sort of compressing at the same time while doing this, so what I may have to do is just wait for compression afterwards. I mostly what I do is I try to do um, my compression along while playing my video sometimes, and as you can see, my uh, there is eventually that my uh, 
my game will eventually reach a limit, I guess, for when I have to, you know, start backing off of playing games and just letting the compression be done. Go up. So this guy, he's got himself um, repair all the way up to green. That's great. And you know what? Well, let's see if I can slow down the uh, lag here just a little bit. All right. So hopefully this will be a little bit faster this time. Let's do a quick check. Yeah, it's much faster. You're moving much faster. So I'll have to keep in mind that there's so much I can do on my computer. Can't process and play a game at the same time. So hopefully, uh, you know, it'll just be a little bit, bit better quality from now on since I stopped my processing. Um, let's go here. This is going faster too. You're surprised to find a ship without a slug marking stranded all the way out here and moved it into prior assistance. When you see the prior incident in the hall, you quickly reconsider. So I can attack or keep your distance and hope they haven't seen you yet. Let's attack. Because, you know, I like killing pirates. Um, I should actually watch my hull though, because I'm taking lots of damage, but I should be good to take out this guy. His shields. Get these both on. Oh, I missed twice. That's bad. Ah, I forgot this too. That's not going to do anything to me, but the missiles might. And that's might. Alright, finally his shields are disabled, and he's taking hits all over the place. Here comes his missile though. Oh, I took a hit to the shields. And it's on fire as well. Um, oh well. We're going to switch our things here to the um, ion beam. On the, you know, the weapons. They offer you some cards if you let them live. Yes, we'll let them live because I don't want to get hit again. So as you can see, a bit of fire. Uh, you know what? Um, you know what? Never mind. I was going to get the Rockman to disable that, but we'll let uh, Cover do that instead. And Cover is getting repair up. I'll let him go up to green too. So that probably wasn't a good idea finding that pirate. It hurt me quite a bit, and I have to really find a shop at this point. And cover's getting healed up a little bit, but we'll just peel it up a little faster. 90, 91, 92, 93, that's good enough. Alright, I'm getting uh I'm getting quite hit quite hard at this point, so I'm really thinking about possibly um more engines, more shields. And that'll help me, you know, defensive wise just a little bit. Um let's get out of these uh nebulas just a little bit. Cause you know the I'm getting really pounded by the nebulas. You jump in the middle of the platform, multiple recently in kind of ships limited to shadows, briefly limited by the lightning. I can manually search the wreckage of his, uh, for SARS and equipment or avoid the risk and wait for a jump away is caved. Let's manually search. Despite your caution, the lack of detection equipment allows the breeze to crash in your ship, damaging the hull. You shall what you can and prepare to jump before anything worse happens. Well, that was not a uh, good thing to happen. I got injured a little bit there, but whatever. Uh, let's drop down med bay and engines to get my heavy ion on so I can pre-fire that. Alright, you know what? Let's drop this down. I'll put this on. Hmm. Let's do this instead. This is a really fast charge so I can fire it whenever, but these take longer so why not have them both charged up. And... Put that power in there. I guess I don't get any shields in here for some reason, but that's fine. Uh, jump. Let's get out of uh, the nebula and just stick over here, maybe. You arrive at this beacon and are relieved at the site of open space. Nebulas are terribly claustrophobic. Yes, they are. I desperately need to find a shop now. There's like no question about it. Um, I can go... Probably here, here. None of these have shops, but whatever. As you jump in, you immediately see an impressive slug pirate ship with the Black Raven playing on its side. They hail you. Greetings! I am the dreaded pirate, Captain Knights. 
You must be full of fear, no? You have heard of me, no? No. Well, I have heard of you, and I must see if you are dangerous as they say. I challenge you. Okay, I can accept this challenge, but that'd be really dangerous because I got no hull. But I'll note the distance I believe in Nether Star for a quest. But let's decline. I see. However, you have no choice in the matter. They move into attack. Well, whatever. He's going to attack anyways. And it looks like he's got uh, quite a bit to uh, defend him. I really want to get out of here real quick, but I can't, so that's going to be a bit of a problem. He's going to really hit me hard. I think. But hopefully my FTL uh, charges up fast enough that I can get away. Um, both these go on. We're going to fire all of this at what? Shields, I guess. Turn you off, turn you on. You can go out of shields as well. Okay, looks like he's got quite a couple beams there. He might not actually be all that dangerous, amazingly enough. Not that I want to be fighting him, but whatever. Let's do the Iron Blast on his weapons, just in case. Okay, one of his weapons took a hit. Maybe I can kill him. Power this down, put power this up. Turn your auto fire off. Yeah, that's fine. Power this both up. I see the rumors are true. I yield, we're no match you. Take this and let us leave in shame. Okay, they'll give me a hull beam and scrap. I accept his surrender. He traps us over the grid and starts to repair his ship. Well, that is uh, interesting. I got myself a hull beam. So the hull beam, of course, this beam is more powerful when targeting large empty sections of the hull. Uh, beam damage is reduced by one for each shield that passes through. Yeah, yeah, I already know this. But this basically um, is a hull beam that does a lot of damage when you hit, um, you know, the uh, Empty rooms and something. I don't really care about it, I don't think, but it's good to have. I'm actually going to replace the hull laser with this one. Uh, the hull laser is fine and all, but this recharges faster, and I want that for, you know, hitting the uh, systems. That's really what I need it for. So accept that. Uh, we're going to power you up. And I will go like that for now. Ship. All right, I've got myself uh, a bit more scrap, so... I suppose what I'm going to do is, I'm going to up this maybe? Or I mean up this and see what the power has. You don't really need to see the power use, but though, so maybe not. Um, I can do this twice. I get power. We're going to do engines and power again though. Just because you know, I like the fact that if I have high engines, I can do a lot more. Jump. Uh, let's go over here. You see a civilian spaceship with heavy damage. You receive a message. We've been hit hard by the war. We need more drone parts to uh, speed our repairs. So buy some for you if you have the extra. Um, I suppose I do have extra. I do want to scrap. Thank you for the business. I'll take that scrap. Uh, let's see here. I can do more uh, upgrades if I want at this point. I suppose, though, do I really need it? Mm, not at this moment, I don't think. Accept. Jump. Yes, a store. I want this store. I'll upgrade or I'll repair myself the bits. You caution to approach the slug calling on a huge asteroid. It's a brave person who sets foot in a slug plant. It can take weeks to get the mucus bulb. I've already seen this, I think. Um, I can buy crew helpers here, but I really need to fix all, so let's do that instead. And um, I need to buy just a little bit of fuel. Now, I need to sell stuff too. I've got, like, you know, a hull being a hull laser. But neither of these I don't think are going to be as useful to me, so let's sell them both. And. Um, I could possibly buy more crew members. And the Mantis would be great for, you know, ha having myself as like, like a anti-combat guy. The Rockman is, you know, nice and all too. Um, I'm really tempted actually to get one of those because you know, I've only got four guys right now. So let's get the uh, Mantis. 
And the Mantis now will be my guard. I'll put him up, I don't know, in this direction. I think this is the teleport, teleporter right here eventually. So I've got myself, uh, my, no, my anti-boarding crew. These guys are up here, mostly. Um, let's jump. I can go maybe here, here, here if I want to. A heavily damaged Federation ship is high in Nebula at the beacon. Before you have time to make contact them, they fail in Nebula. Let's attempt to follow them and help them. You search and help us so your scientists can't pick up anything in Nebula. That's too bad. Um, these guys are closing in real quick. I might have time to go bing, 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 bing. That's a store too. But I don't really need to go to a store. Let's just go here. A slug captain hails and invites himself aboard your ship to present you a flask of something slimy. Now, most gracious captain, you must join me in, uh, please and drink to our alliance. Rock crew, have your rock pose as captain. Your crew member is able to identify heavy acid contained in a flask when he feels slightly drowsy. The rock digestion system is very robust. His ruse discovered the slug immediately returns to the ship and opens fire. Well, we already knew uh, something's going to happen like that, right? They're slugs. But whatever, let's... uh. Show him why we don't like that too much. I'm going to fire my uh, heavy ion at his shields. Power these both up. And then we'll power this one right onto uh, his shields as well. Power you up down. Power you up. You're going to go after his shields. Apparently I missed them. That sucks, but whatever. I missed him again. Finally doing some damage. He's going to do some damage to me, though. He missed a, a couple times there. Every iron, you're going to go back over his shields. I missed again with that. Ooh, he gets some hits on me. At least his shields are finally down, and I'm doing a lot of damage to him. Let's have the iron blast go off his uh, weapons now. The enemy pip is trying to get away, blah blah. Let's charge this over his engines. You have bested us. We accept what is in our stores in exchange for our lives. We will not accept surrender. They're slugs. Never let them surrender. Unless you see what they're going to give you. The ship explodes, leaving behind a substantial collection of useless scrap materials. Okay, so he's out of the way. Let's jump. Um. Apparently I can get down here, and that's a store. Or that's a store. Let's go here. Your sensors are no match for a slug's uh, self abilities. A ship you never even saw opens fire from a stern. Um, put these both on. I'm gonna charge again both his shields. I probably should have switched this to the bristle or whatever. And, ooh, he hit me in the, uh, these guys suck at repair, but let's just get this done and over with. And he's firing like mad, but I'm almost done. You bested us. Will you step us in the stores and exchange for our lives? No. And I want to turn you back on. You can go back over to his engines. You can get out of here. I love how I hit my weapons twice with the missiles there. Okay, he's out of the way. Missiles, drone parts, and scrap. Now, I'm actually considering doing something here that I wasn't expecting to do, but I'm actually going to buy a teleporter. Um, I've got, you know, a pretty good crew for it, so let's jump over to this store. I'm going to buy the crew teleporter, fix all, and now I've got myself, oh, it's right there, okay, this is maybe the cloaking one. So here's the crew teleporter, and uh, basically these guys can jump over whenever I need to and, you know, be attacking these guys. So that's awesome, right? Um, exit. 
This long range beacon is almost hidden within the nebula within the FTL drive's charge. You can jump to the next sector. So I sort of messed up, and I guess with that pirate, perhaps maybe I should have accepted the challenge. But whatever. Uh, I guess we are done. Let's jump. I will go to the next sector, which is going to be Slug Home Nebula or Rock Controlled. I suppose we'll go to Rock Controlled just so I have this friendly sector um, next, and that'll be it. The rock people are powerful and proud race. It's not a herb of uh, having a peaceful journey through their lands, but don't count on it. All right, so that's, that'll be it for this uh, episode. Sorry about the lag in the beginning. I'll make sure it doesn't happen again by always recording at, uh, you know, when my stuff isn't being processed.